Hello, everybody, and welcome to race number 17 of the season here at Daytona International Speedway here, the second Daytona race that we're having this season, and the nighttime spectacle here of the Coke Zero Sugar 400 weekend that's going on around for the Xfinity Series. And I'm here being joined by not one but two guest co-commentaries, one ironic enough that will be joining me this upcoming Saturday as you are seeing the race prior to and all, and being joined by one and only Kyle Keith. <laughs> And also, this is the first time I've ever had him in a co-commentary thing. I rock it up. I uh, kind of met about a, about a month ago and all. And he's the driver of the number 48 DC Solar Chevrolet, Benjamin Miles. First off, thank you for joining the booth. It's such an honor that you're here, Ben. Hello, everybody, and it's great to be here. It's a shame we're not at Watkins Glen and all. You would have been perfect for that, but don't worry. Oh, my God. I, this is sad. I just came back from the Glen today, so I did some track testing, get myself ready to go. Yeah. So we are here at Daytona, race number 17. I'll tell you what, we're past the second half of the season, and the chase for the championship is getting closer and closer. After this race, we're going to have a total of three more races to determine who is going to be our top ten drivers, our two wildcard holders, and then the week after, the Chase LCQ, which will be at Talladega, where two more spots, the final ones, will be up for grabs. So before we get down to anything, let's get down to your starting lineup. Vince Almorego is on the pole for tonight's race. Starting next to him, it's R.J. Bishop. Third, Johnny Gardner. Fourth, Jonathan Zorland. Fifth, Kyle Keefe. Sixth, Benjamin Miles. I rock up your co-commentators. are starting right next to each other in fifth and sixth. Chandler Caudill. Seventh, Ember Ross. Eighth, Damian Fisher. Ninth, complete the top ten. Craig William Carter. And here's the rest of your starting lineup here at Daytona. Now, Kyle... Ironic enough, we were here when the speed weights are going around. It was daytime, with the exception of the Budweiser shootout. So it's good to see that these drivers are here at night. How much of a difference factor do you think a nighttime race can go to a daytime race at a track like this? Uh, well, I mean, the asphalt's still pretty new in this uh, in this version, so it's going to be pretty grippy. Um, you're going to have a cooler um, track temperature, so that means the tires are going to grip. You're going to see a lot more three-wide racing as in the final row. As we're about you have, uh, we have Dylan Thoreau and Connor Meyer in the final row. Connor Meyer. Get a lot closer ends. racing and a lot more passing because it's going to be so much cooler. You can actually make the passes without having the car get loose on you. And I'll tell you what, Daytona always plays the underdog factor. And Ben, I know you've seen it plenty of times whenever you've been in the car. What do you think is always the key factor heading to a race track like this? The main goal is to stay away from the big one. If you can stay away from the big one, everything is possible. Like Keith says, track has had a lot of grip. It's a nighttime racing, be a lot of three wide, maybe four wide if someone's dead enough to do that. Sorry. So the best my best goal so oh, the best man. point is to stay near the front. You're fine. It's the best part is stay in the front and hope for the best. <laughs> so as you can tell, we have twenty four laps of action. We're about ready to take the green flag here as they're off turn four. We may as well do picks. It's very risky to do, but okay. Let's get that underway. Uh, Kyle, who do you think is going to win tonight's race? Cody Lamas. Oh, and a bull pick. I rock enough your hometown hero before we get Ben in my pick. Green flag is out. We are underway at Daytona. Let's roll. Book it, book it, boys. Let's go racing, boys and girls. I promise that is not a trademark. Uh, ben, who is your <laughs> pick for tonight's race? Since someone took my Cody Lamas pick, I go the underdog. Not really underdog, but really Seth Cole. Really? That's <laughs> if he's doing there. Those are bold picks right there. You know, I will go an underdog pick. I'll, I'll tell you who it is. He's the driver of the number one. He's 22nd in points, and he had a really good run uh, last week in Indianapolis. Keep an eye on Diego Yepes. He is looking for major redemption, actually, after his poor run that he had in the day race here at Daytona. Even though he may be in the rear of the field starting dead last, I think he may be a spoiler. He may win tonight's race. Already, we are yeah, seeing two, a... three wide throughout this race. And already, but they're four wide already. Oh, man, they're not taking... Oh, my God, Philip Parker is going four wide. Right with Kev Shear in the 71. Oh, cars to the wall. And around goes Shear in the 71. Here they go. Brett Brescher, Nathan oh, Stapleton around. Oh, my God. Wow. Cars are scattered all over wow. the place. Kate Anderson. Oh, Justin oh, Zidell, I seen evolve. Cars are trying to slide to get around. A lot of good cars. Ryan that just calls me Stapleton. through. Stapleton destroyed. Jay has made it through somehow. I think so. Jeffrey Finn guys got damaged. I think Charles Sanford the 01. I think Baron Last Oscars one. made it through. Wow. And the big Did one I say someone could make it four wide? Racing back to the line. Looks See, like uh, Reagan Fisher. 
going to lead them down easily as unless Scott Roush can get in. Nope, not so fast. Fisher will lead that lap. I said they're going to get racing. I said it. I said they're going to get racing. <laughs> yeah, I called. I did call four wide. Yeah, I seen that too at the very last second. And I seen Philip Parker just get in there and I knew that was not good. As we're under caution for the first time today here at Daytona. Fisher trying to oh. get himself back whoa, in the whoa, line whoa, there. Whoa. I don't know what's going on with the 22. That was probably not a good thing to do right there. It's not really, probably. not at all. So as we are under caution for the first time, is anyone else on pit road? Oh, Jonathan Wong also involved. And William Flickinger, that's fourth in points right there. A big load of the 96. Uh -oh. Brett Pritchard has really not been having a good season all, let alone in both series. Charles Sam from the 01. Stapleton, that's going to be a big blow right there. Six in the points. I think he's done for the night. Jeffrey Finn guy. Yeah. Who just fell out of the top 10 after last week's run. He is out of it for the second week in a row. He's going to encounter problems. Ooh. Oh, they're, oh, they're wrecking over here. And yet, whoa, whoa. Craig William Carter. What happened over here? Is that the... Is that the one guy involved, too? Uh, yeah, yes, that it was. Is. Diego Yepes. Your pick. Damn it. Philip Parker also involved. What happened over here? And wow, that's both the Meyer racing cars, too. This is not scripted. No. <laughs> Shelton, Kate Anderson with more damage. Alexander Rowe. Craig William Carter just destroyed. That's going to end his, his night right there. Tough break for that rookie. And Cab Shearer. Not challenger. Tough break for that 71 team. Cannot catch a break. <laughs> what the? I totally did not even wow. see that coming. I, uh, I'm being totally honest. I did not even see that. Just looking. Here. Oh, there is Charles Sanford you see coming back off of pit road as we're under caution for the first time today. Caution is out. Ramey Fisher leads. Let's go take a look what app bring ourselves our first caution for today's race. Well, we are under caution for the first time tonight. You just see Philip Parker just... Squeaks in the four wide, and Kyle, you mentioned right away, they're going to get racy early, and kind of no surprise they did that. And that was not a smart move by two rookies right there and a couple of veterans. Especially on lap one. This reminds me of the 2012 uh, Daytona 500. Yeah. Uh, right just there. getting too racy. and Parker got in the shoot. Oh, and, and yeah. Breaks loose. Benjamin Miles just gets a piece, but he should be okay, though. It's not going to really affect his car a whole lot. Wow, right in front of Cole Deaver. That was fifth in the points right there. And Patrick Smith, second in points. And there's Cody Lamas going around, but I believe he's going to get away unscathed, which is a good sign right there. Stapleton, Osborne gets a tiny piece. Oh, never mind, gets another piece right there. And then you see Kate Anderson, Jessica Shelton, Alexander Rowe, William Flickinger. That's, uh, let me see here, that's fourth in points. You see James Qualls, Andres Baranowskis, William Brock. I believe they all made it through. Ryan Acosta's trying to avoid the 15. In any way, shape, or form, lets the 70 on by. Yes, he does. Nice move by Ryan Acosta. Good move Another on his part. All over here. Oh, there's where Charles Sanders going to get involved. And then Stapleton right into the 42. Let's actually go to where Jonathan Wong is because I think maybe that's something to do with him. I'm not 100% certain. Nope, he did not. There was a secondary wreck. I don't know what happened there. Could have been with the three. I'm, I'm guessing, yep, it was a three. Let's see with the three car. Oh, okay, now keep an eye on the five and the three there. Now remember the 12 and 88 bounced off of them. The three's going to come up the course. He's going to hit the wall right there and then going to come right down into the 27, who just gets a tiny piece of it. There you see Dylan Thoreau also getting involved. I did not see the six car there getting involved right there. One of our two times winners this season. Wow. Kate Anderson running to her own teammate right there. And then Meyer trying to find a way through. Runs right into the three car. Nowhere to go. And the points leader. Or, well, the former points leader, I should say. Zachary Fitzwater. There you see him get involved. Wong going into his own teammate. There's Meyer again. Charles Samper. You see Justin Zidell right there in the 21 trying to get through. <laughs> wow. A bunch of good race cards getting all torn up this early on. That's a tough break right there. Yeah. I feel bad for those drivers involved in that four wreck. Like I said, two rookies make a rookie mistake this soon. Yeah, and Kyle, you've seen that plenty of times, especially in your rookie year. I mean, you can't really do that that early on. At all. I mean, a super speed was like this. I mean, tell you, especially tell my team drivers because that's what we're based on, a super speedway is not to be stupid. Yeah. Unfortunately, all my drivers got caught up in a stupid wreck. So yeah, right. we'll see how it goes. 
Caution is out yeah. for the third time tonight. Ramey and Fisher leads. Let's take you back to the green. Lights on top of the pace car arc, which are a signal of one left to go. Out of the race, and there's quite a number of drivers. We got Jonathan Wong, William Flickinger. That's going to be a big blow to the 96 team. That's fourth in points. They, they may fall out of the top ten due to that poor run. Brett Pritchard, Nathan Stapleton, Jeffrey Fingai. That could be another driver, too. Stapleton to fall out. Uh, Kev Shearer, Kate Anderson, Connor Meyer, Jessica Shelton, Craig William Carter, Diego Yepes, and Alexander Rowe all out of the race. 30 cars remain out on the track. Let's give you your top 10 rundown as we are a quarter of the, of the way complete. Fisher leads, Scott Roush second. The third, second and third are comprised of rookies right there. Fourth, Kyle Keith, fifth, Zach Flickinger, sixth, Ember Ross, seventh, Kyle Matthews, eighth, uh, eighth, Rogers. Good run for the 19 team. Keep in mind, he's dead last in the points. Uh, Jonathan Zorro, ninth, and near pole sitter, Vince Almarego completes the top 10. So before we go through, I forgot to mention too, and failed to mention, is that uh, we do have some hometown drivers is here. We got the 24 of Kyle Keith. We got the 5 of Cody Lamas. And I want to be sure on the other one there. I just want to think of my memory here. Um, I guess he retired, but I cannot think of it for the life of me. Nope, that must have been it then. Yeah, just those two drivers. They will also be in the cup race later on. Next, uh, tomorrow there, so be ready for that. The pace car will head back down pit road as we're about ready to go back green flag racing. And green flag back underway here at Daytona. That's a great start by the 22 for sure. Here comes the 60 with a nice move right there. And, and Ben, you mentioned about it, how Daytona is, but... Don't forget, the underdogs always have played a good factor. I mean, what's the key thing if you're one of those drivers always. poor in the points that could get a good run like this? I try to get these close to the front as quick as possible without any other incidents. As of right now, I got a little quarter, quarter pedal damage, but didn't flick my speed at all. As I try to follow this nine car, get to the near the front. <laughs> and look at that. Scott Roush really just got shoved by the 24. Not only to take the lead, but get moved to the high line. Here comes the 24 immediately going to the front. Oh, wow, the there. double zero. <laughs> wow, Ben, your pick almost just oh. got a little accident there, but kept it together. And it looks like we'll still oh, be doing yeah. three wide racing, but Kyle Keith will lead that lap right there. That's a big bo that's a big bonus point right there for that 2014. Middle line to move that. He actually loved that. Yeah. Now, if you notice on, right where that pack is, kind of where the 27 is of Joshua Osborne, it looks like he's the last car that could be in the mouth of the pack. Maybe. Problem is, he got to get up to that 33 and quick. But, however, he does have a little bit of damage, so it does not look good for that 2017. And what's worse, he's stuck in that 180, 181 spot. So he may be that first car out of the draft. And the last one in could be Joshua Sicoli, who's in 21st right now. So it could be a battle between 21 cars to win this race. And that is how this how super speedways can be. And who's trying to lead a lap? Well, look at Lee, the 19. Dead last Rogers. points. That's a big crucial bonus point for that 19 team. And that was something they desperately needed. Comes Cole Deaver to the inside now for the lead. Now you're seeing three by three throughout the course. Hang in the turn one, or heading off turn one, coming into turn number two right now. And Kyle, I'll tell the you top what. Top of the race. Yeah, you are a big Super Speedway fan. Your packages mainly include Super Speedways. How much pressure do you think it is for these drivers if you're going three by three? I mean, for how early in the race we are, it's big pressure. I mean, late in the race, sure, you come home with the steering wheel. But right now, you don't want to be doing oh, this. Oh, Harding at turn! Oh, well, oh, and there they go! Caution is out! Oh, Baranowskis is flipping down turn four onto the front stretch! Still barrel rolling is the two! And we'll still barrel roll Back. and land on all four wheels. Someone else is hitting the wall. I cannot tell. Oh, Osborne just got dumped a bit, but he kept it together. Caution is out for the second time today here. And Cole Deaver. Wow, look at all the damage he's got in the nine car. Fifth in the points. And look who escaped yet again. I cannot believe it. Zach Flickinger, the points leader. He's got to have a golden horseshoe somehow stuck in that car because he's just been avoiding Rex left and right. <laughs> He just called Jimmy. He just called Jimmy Johnson. I was like, "Hey, Jimmy, can I borrow that horseshoe real quick?" He said, "Yeah, sure, no problem." <laughs> Under caution for the second time tonight here. Like five cars made it through, and then after that, 
Oh, man, Ace Rogers, Emmanuel Harden. That's a tough break for Rogers too. He just led a lap, and unfortunately, he's going to get involved in a crash yet again. Just nothing go right for that 19 team. I think Al Morego, did he get away unscathed? Yes, he did. Edie Carr managed to get through that one. Seen Benjamin Miles did get involved now, in which is a tough break. Patrick Smith didn't get involved yet again. Third Fisher in the 22. Cody Lamas in the 5. Both the hometown heroes, I think, got involved at one point. Remember Ross in the 18. Heavy front end. That car's done. Seth Cole, and then there's Miles. Kyle Matthews. Oh, Jonathan Zorl in the double zero. I didn't even see him get involved in that one. He's got a, a bunch of front end damage. On the bottom line, they got caught up in that. Man, I don't know what happened, but they just... Yeah, I think someone tried to hurt. sneak in four wide and then just all hell broke loose. As we are about I to... Think the 29 try, I think the 29 clipped someone. I don't know who, but it must have clipped someone. Caused a... Lama's got clipped, but he was in the bottom line, so we'll see in the replay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, a bunch of, and another good set of cards, too. Seth Cole involved. That's going to end his night, probably. Kyle Matthews seen the 62. Just get on the pit road and repair some of that damage. We are under caution once again here. Ace Rogers calling it quits right there. RJ Bishop. Wow. Wow. Let's go take a look at for ourselves our second caution for tonight's race here at Daytona. Well, here's a look at what happened. We had to do an extensive look off the air, but then we found out. Watch the 29. As you see, he was moving up the course. Last minute, tried to go back down. And if you see very carefully, the 55 is just right in front of that nose right there. And then the 29 is, gets right in the 55, into Baranowski, gets into Lamas, into Miles, and Deaver. All hell breaks loose after that. And look at Zach Flickinger. I don't know. How he got through that one, but that is unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know how. That is just speechless. Oh, Miles right in the Baranowskis. And that one right there, that's the one who's going to flip him right there. Jonathan Zorl in the double zero. Just absolutely pile drive two car. And you can see from the spectator angle here, just the Delta Chevrolet flipping over end over end. I hope he's okay. Hopefully so. She took a wild ride, too, and you can see she barreled at least a good five, six times. Oh, yeah. I think two of them is landed on my back end, my front end, so I'm, like, tore up. <laughs> the good news, though, is that she did land on all four wheels. That is a good sign right there. That's what all that matters. Congratulations. I'm happy she's, good. I'm happy she's doing all right. What a vicious crash right there. That's another rookie mistake, Kyle. That's That's not a good sign right there. These rookies off them here, super speedways. That's the case. What's funny of the case, too, is that these rookies, they're not mainly rookies in, well, you know, first time ever. They're rookies in this series, but not outside of here. You know, they got plenty of experience, but just it's a bad mistake on Arden. And he's had plenty of experience in FS. It's just not a good smart move here. Let's see Regardless, if we can get, get them off on base Rogers in 19 and show you his view. From the wreck. On board. He's going to get rocked. He's going to get rocked yeah, here. Yeah, watch the other 29 oh, yeah. goes up the course and went down right there. You, like, you can clearly see it right there. Harden it just, I don't know what he was thinking right there. And you can clearly see what caused the caution right there from the view of the Mountain Dew Dodge. We're under caution for the second time tonight here at Daytona. Let's take you back to the green. Well, welcome back. You have not missed much there. Zachary Fitz, we've already seen the 07, is a lap down for some fair reason. I have no idea what happened, but nonetheless, he is a lap down in that area. Let me go over here real quick. Out of the race after that incident include the following. Andres Baranowski gets Ember, uh, Ember Ross. I'm, I'm twisting here. Jonathan Zorlin, Ace Rogers, Cole Deaver, Benjamin Miles, and Cody Lamas all out of the race. As previously mentioned, Fitz was a lap down in 23rd spot. There are 23 cars uh, on the track, 22 of them on the lead lap. Get your top 10 rundown here. R.J. Bishop is your leader. Second, Dylan Throw. Third, Eric Burden. What an impressive run for that 11 team, and they have not been doing good this season at all. Hopefully, this could be the finish they need right here. Flicking through the points leader, he will undoubtedly leave this race as the points leader. There is no doubt about it. However, the closest behind him in points, Johnny Gardner, not too far behind in fifth. It's Al Morego, who's been desperate for a good run. He lost some spots the last couple of weeks. He is in a good redemption spot in sixth. 
Kyle Keith seventh, William Brock eighth, Ryan Acosta ninth. In the top ten is Philip Parker. What a not bad run for that 15 team, and he got involved in the first wreck too. The rest of the top 20 is Joshua Osborne, Justin Seidel, Taylor Caudill, Scott Roush, Patrick Smith, Ramian Fisher, Joshua Sicoli, James Qualls, Charles Samper, and Emmanuel Hardit. rest of the field on the lead lap include Kyle Matthews in 21st and Seth Cole 22nd. And as previously mentioned, Fitzwater 23rd a lap down. Green flag back underway for R.J. Bishop and others. Looks like the top three, they're going to get away with no problem. But it looks like Fitzwater... He's kind of up to speed, but not really a whole lot up to speed. Go, but he got caught up behind the 07. Nowhere to go for him. Oof. I'll tell you what, though. He's looking for a second win of the season, and wow. Fitzwater, he knew. Oh! He went way oh. up to the 7 card. I don't know if Gardner's going to appreciate that one there, but... Oh, smart well, move. By, and look who's about to go to the right. front. Remember, he got held up after the first caution. Justin Zydell, that's another driver who's been in desperate need of a good run. And he's got a little bit of damage, if you can see carefully. He's got a They're little bit of help on They're the car. And he's doing good right now. What a run for that 21 team. I got up if they're not careful. They're making too many... Crazy no. moves. You're not kidding. Fitzwater still holding up Johnny Garter. Finally, we'll let him by. And look who I'm starting to see also work his way up. How about James Qualls, who's been having a poor run the last couple of weeks, finally getting through all the mess, and he could have a shot to win this race with 10 laps to go, heading into nine when we cross the line. Miracle that to get past all these drivers ahead of him, they're just three wide by three wide. <laughs> oh, Patrick man. Cicoli, who's also having a poor run. He's in the shot for the win. Ramey and Fisher. We see who's eating the points. And it looks like Osborne definitely, like his mentioned, will be the first car off the lead la or off the main pack to win this race. So it looks like in total we're going to have a total of, I believe, 16 cars having a shot to win this race. So pretty good for how many wrecks you had. And Eric Byrne yeah. led that lap is leading the field, and I want to say Eric Byrne, he's like in the 30s. I correct me if I'm wrong on this, Kyle. He's not having a good season at all. A terrible season. Hopefully, he can turn it around here. He's 34th of the points. Oh, yeah. See, I knew he was in the 30s. He was not having a good season at all. I don't remember. He had a good run showing at Indianapolis, but then the wreck happened. Couldn't avoid it. was in the top five, and it was just a tough break right now. And we are at the two-thirds of the way mark complete. And now this is a question I do want to ask you guys, because you both have had experience before in the past with this track and breaching this deadline here. When is your time you want to go for that lead? Yeah, if you're in the back, you want to go now. Like, if you're in the top five, maybe you can wait. But now, if you're in the back of this pack, you got to go. My words exactly is, if you're in the back, get there near the front as quick as possible. Those near the front, if you stay there with the next two or three laps, make you move by then. Let's go to that 15 of Philip Parker right there. You can see he's just barely hanging the pack, but he's just minus time, though. Wondering he when got that time to go, and... You mentioned it, Kyle. You gotta make sure you time it right. You mistime it, and also, let alone a caution come out, it could change everything too. See, Parker's gonna let Almeray go on by to get that draft. Make sure he gets his way up to that pack to make sure he can battle for that win. You can tell that these drivers who really want to win this race bad, they have got to be feeling the pressure. Oh yeah, especially within the next few laps left to go. It's wow, Ryan Acosta, he got a little close to that 21 there on the inside line, but kept his nose together. Now, if you look carefully into this pack alone, drivers who've won this season include Johnny Gardner, Zach Flickinger, looking through the list here, Ramian Fisher, Ryan Acosta, uh, let's see here, and I believe... I believe that may have been it. That's it there. All those drivers I mentioned, they have won a race this season. Drivers who, uh-oh. Oh, no. No, no, don't do don't it. Don't do, do it. it. Don't do it. I thought for a minute 21 just was about to go four wide. and but oh, he, he, he might, he might, he might. Hang on the back stretch. There's no question about that. Yeah, right. And look at this who's starting to work this way up. Here comes James Qualls. 
I was going to say, my memory serves me correctly. Drivers who are still looking for their first win in their career include William Brock, Philip Parker. I can believe I could be wrong about Philip Parker, but uh, Justin Zidel, Vince Almorego, Eric Burton, and that may have been it. All those drivers right there have not won a race. Oh, and Scott Roush. All those drivers have never won the Intercell before. How would it be to pick up your first win at Daytona? That would be a huge, monumental victory right there. I don't count out Eric Burton yet. He's coming back through the field, and he's up now to third, getting down to the nitty-gritty. And I also noticed there Flickinger, he snuck his way from the middle to the inside line in front of Philip Parker. He's saying it's go time, and I don't know. Uh, Flickinger's competition is leading right now. If he can lead a lap, oh, not so fast. Eric Burton sneaks underneath. He's trying to lead another lap. And keep in mind, if you lead the most laps, you get an extra five bonus points. So that's what Eric Burns trying to do right now. Definitely don't count out any driver right here. It's make or break time. Four laps to go right now. Any slow cars. It may approach Charles Samper in the 0-1. You can see him coming off of turn number two right now. And that is always a big factor when you head out to any track like this. Lap cars can always be a huge factor. Oh, yeah, I bet you they're going to make it. Oh, there goes like the rack. I think it's William Brock. Car number 26. Saved he saved it. He, he saved, saved it. it. He well, saved where's he it. he at? There he is, back on the course. There he is. But he's not going to be able to get the win. That's going to be a big blow to the SunTrust Chevrolet. Unless he get that draft back. So that's a draft. Wow, what a he, save, though. He might. He might. I don't know. It don't look good, but, I mean, he can. The, if that lap car can play a factor, he could. Oh my uh, god, how'd he save that car right there? That was unbelievable. On board, Eric Byrne. As you see Flickinger trying to look underneath, he's going to go for it now. But there you see it. Charles Sanford right there where that little arrow is. Uh-oh. They're approaching quickly. They're going to get him a three. They're definitely yeah. going to get him. Cue the, cue the Jaws music. And look at William Brock is back into the pack. And this is where also you want to make your right decisions because we're probably ready to head to two laps to go and cross oh. the line. Charles Sanford's approaching. And the 20s, Here comes Flickinger and the 20s, Eric Burton. The draft. The 20s, draft. Oh, the no, he's going to block the inside. Flickinger couldn't avoid. Eric Burton runs away. Here comes the 11. Everybody getting held up. Now Flickinger, RJ Bishop, and others in the middle and inside line trying to get around the 01. Two laps to go. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not feeling pretty with Eric Burton right now. He's all by himself. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. I don't think they're not, yeah, they're definitely not going to approach Seth Cole and Kyle Matthews. That was the only lap car we had that was that damaged and off the pace. Cars are still trying and to scare around one. Everyone does Remember now. 26 that lost the car? Remember 26 make a big save? Yeah. And look where you're at right now. He may have a shot to win. I don't know, though. He's pushing Scott Rouse in that 60. That's. Wow, look at that. They just race train the six car. It and the six car just a lone sitting duck right there. If Eric Bird, he's got to hold on for dear life because the white flag is about ready to be displayed. Ooh. This time by white flag, final lap for the Leaf Filter Chevrolet for Eric Burton. Can he hold up RJ Bishop and others? I don't know. They're coming full head of steam real fast. Behind RJ Bishop are two drivers looking for their first career wins. They have never won Xfinity. Neither has the 11. Oh my god, look at the oh pressure, god, there Burton it is. just got reeled in, here comes Bishop, look at Bishop trying to go to the inside, trying to get a momentum, oh he's looking, but the 60 goes Stay down wide. the middle, Stay wide. 60 goes down the middle, not a smart move by the 60, here comes Ramey and Fisher, Fisher to the inside line for second, can he get one attempt for going for the win, I don't think so, don't look good, Coming off of turn four, last lap pass. Oh. Fisher trying to last second. Not going to be enough. R.J. Bishop wins at Daytona. Bishop. Wow, Congrats to Bishop. Last lap pass. Eric Burton trying uh, to put a block, but with a huge head of steam, the 98 was ready. An unbelievable job. Bishop gets himself a victory here at Daytona. Man, I feel bad for Eric Burr. He thought he got it all, but like I said, that you knew it was coming. Long line of cars come near the last lap. We knew it was coming.
He did end up in sixth place, though, so that is a big finish for that 11 team. They're definitely going to gain some points, but... Oh, man, what a race, though, nonetheless. I am out of breath. That was awesome. Let's get your top 10 finishing results here on the Speed Network here. RJ Bishop gets the win. Following that was Ramey Fisher trying to get a last-second momentum just a little bit short. He had another lap. He definitely would have had a chance. Mm -hmm. Scott Roush wound up third. Yeah. William Brock fourth. Josh Brock, the fourth. Fifth. Unbelievable for Brock. What a comeback after getting Brock. really involved. He saved the car. Ended up finishing the fourth place. What a momentum right oh, yeah. there. Sicoli fifth. Shout out to him on that one. Yep, we mentioned Eric Byrne. How about Flickinger, the points leader? He will come away seventh. He definitely will retain that points lead. Eighth place, James Qualls. That is a well-deserved need to run for that 70 team. He's got to be happy with that, and this will be a big momentum for the cup race later on tomorrow. Then you got Chandler Caudill in ninth, and completing the top ten, Dylan Thoreau. That's going to be big for that six team right there. They are really going to try to go in and get that opportunity to get into that top ten of points. They really want to badly. So now let's get your full finishing results here presented by Speed right there. Kyle Keith will end up 11th, 12th, Justin Seidel, 13th, Johnny Gardner, 14th, Vince Almarego, 15th, William, or, or not William, uh, Philip Parker, 16th, Ryan Acosta, 17th, Joshua Osborne, 18th, Emmanuel Hargett, 19th, Patrick Smith, and the last two cars finished the race, 20th and 21st on the lead lap, Kyle Matthews and Seth Cole. Charles Sanford was lapped down in 22nd, and the last car to finish the race, Zachary Fitzwater, ended up 23rd, a lap down, 24th. On down to dead last, all out of the race after those accidents taking place. And some big yeah. names right there. Like, some big names took some heavy hits right there. William Flickinger, Cole Deaver, Nathan Stapleton, Zachary Fitz I guess you could say Fitzwater in a way kind of had a bad run. Uh, let me see here. Where was it? Jeffrey Finguy, first driver outside of the top ten of points. Kev Shear, Kate Anderson, drivers around the 11th through 15th area all got involved in that wreck. Finish up with 16th in the points. Prior to the race, I don't know if he's going to get into the top 10, but it definitely looks like he will be close. Let's put it that way. Unbelievable. Yep, looks like I got the 48 Bad Luck Cheese at Daytona. Unfortunately <laughs> so. Oh, my God. What a race nonetheless, though. Congratulations to RJ Bishop on winning here at Daytona. I want to say this is his second career Xfinity win, third altogether in the NRSL. And what a what a day, a day this is here, nonetheless. And I mean, it was just a great day for that '98 team. And in the end, Bishop will take home the victory. Who knows what will happen with the Cup race? Anything can happen. There's plenty of guys who are, who are in this race that will be in Cup tomorrow, and we will see how that goes. First off, I want to thank Kyle Keith and Benjamin Miles for joining me in the booth. Much pleasure to those guys. I want to check out those their channels. Please check out their channels. Of course, links will be in the description down below. And of course. Because we, like, me and Akaki, by the time the video is already up, we are all at Daytona right now. Um, tomorrow I will probably be in Orlando still at the time, but the day the cup race should be up by then. Till then, I will see you guys later for the cup race. I'll be at Daytona. Till then, this is your boy, 8675-958, signing off here for the Xfinity race. We will see you tomorrow for the cup race, which I think both will be here for that as well. Till then, goodbye, everybody. Adios, amigos.